we we ran a certain time of everything, but they don't speak about that. They call it the word Byzantine means backwards. And then right after that is the Renaissance. After that thousand year, they speak about that time from the 1300s all the way up to now. The word Renaissance means the rebirth. So these things, everything is for our learning now. So now we know that, that something is being hidden that needs to be resurrected, that needs to be brought up. The bee needs to be dug up, and that, that's what's happening right now. All these artifacts, all these archaeologies, all these artifacts, all these things. I was—I remember once I was watching. Um, how you say? Uh, I was watching this this Russian this Russian lady. It was like a, she had all these back pictures. She said when she was an old lady, she said we had to hide these things because they was coming to our house, burning them. I don't know, it was Russia or Hitler. They was burning stuff back then. It was burning, burning books, man. I, you know, when I first got, when I first was going on YouTube, I, it was a lot of stuff that was up, up on YouTube. Now they hide, they back trying to hide this stuff. But you know that certain individuals already downloaded it, put it in their archives for evidence. So everything is, everything is really here. This is twenty twenty and the year of prophecy. This, this, this is the, this been coined the year of prophecy. So. What's happening? Everything that we prophesied about, that prophesied about, is happening. They made more missiles. All right. So, um, famine, concentration camps, the RFID chip, which is the mark of the beast, two hundred million missiles. It's going to hit the soils of America. We at home, we don't have missiles. All right. We don't have missiles. No. We just got the scriptures. We got the words. 200 million missiles going to hit the soil of America. Simultaneously, simultaneously, the chariots of the Lord is going to lift up the whole full elect. Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye should see him. But I, I was just talking about that, um, how the chariots. Back then, um, the chariots, um, the UFO, um, they call them UFOs, right? The chariots, the, the Lord, with Moses, the chariots, um, as, uh, no, is it uh, Ezekiel? He so he speaks about it. I think I think it's just Ezekiel. I think it's Ezekiel. A lot of prophets seen uh, uh, um, Enoch was lifted up into the chariots. These things happen, and it's in the scriptures. The scriptures they can't they get everything. Um, they get everything from um from the scriptures. Everything comes from this book. But they couldn't. But they couldn't obtain the power. They couldn't hit it for long. They tried to. They didn't want us to get this back. It's been dominant. Now it's grown so well, and to be a part of it, it's dynamic. Like if you go around, you get around other people. They're not a part. They don't know nothing. They don't, they don't look at you, and they don't. They don't try to obtain what you have. They're not a part of it. But they're going to experience though. They're going to experience it because they're going to experience all those things that I spoke about: famine, concentration camps, off our deed ship. The 200 million missiles simultaneously, they're gonna see the chariots of the Lord because the, the Lord said every eye gonna see him, even the ones that pierce him. That's that's reincarnation right there. That's reincarnation right there. Even the eyes that seen him, that pierced him, I mean, the ones that stabbed him when he was on the cross, you can't go around that. See, these scriptures is for our learning. Right? And it says right here, it says, um, I'm just going to read this verse. i just seen it right now. It says, all right, we're going to read this anyway. We're going to read some of this. It says, all right, uh, it says, Hebrews chapter 11, verse 3. Through faith, we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God. The word of God is Yahweh Shah. The word of God, Yahweh. So that things which are seen were not made of the things which do appear. By everything that's appear, everything that you see is made by Yahweh Shem Shah. Okay? By Yahweh Yahweh sent Yahweh Shah to form all these worlds. And then he came, then he did he did another level, he leveled up. Then he went into the world to become a lamb. That's dynamic. You can't go around that. So I'm going to go into the world and become a lamb. Then when I come back, I'm going to come back in my ultimate force. 
people into the world different times. Reincarnation. Adam. Melchizedek. Isaac. Solomon. Yahweh Shah. Wait, also when he was with um Abraham, he was he was there. He was that angel that he was that one that appeared with Yahweh shot with Abraham Yahweh shot appeared with Abraham. He came back then on the earth and just and he talked to him and said, Yo, I'm gonna come back and be I'm gonna come back. The scripture speaks about these things. This scripture is for our higher learning. You know, this conversation is for the brothers. I was just like, just, well, I, I mean, I was going through some of the scriptures, just meditating, you know, dwelling in the scriptures, and, you know, I was just like, so much, like I said, my brain, sometimes I'm, I'm it's early in the morning. I read the scriptures all, probably like, <laughs> I can't, let me see what time I started, I was in it. I think I was probably since like four, jumping up, listening to scriptures, hearing scriptures, reading scriptures, just trying to, you know, just, just fil letting it filter through my, my 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 spirit, and let it you know because the the, um, the scripture is a cleansing area, cleansing agent, and it and it, it and it purges out all the bullshit that that you do think, and what you need you know because you want to be you want to be as clean as possible, which we are filthy our righteousness is filthy rags, but this is this is our comfort, right? What it said it was oh man, oh jeez I just had the verse. <laughs> Let me see if I can get it again. Because I just had it. Alright. Um. Oh, yeah, I think that was it. Alright, let me see something. Because we want, listen, we, we, we are, um, we're on the merge of becoming something greater than anything that we ever, that we ever gonna, um, Obtain, man. We look. I always think about this now, man. Like I, I never thought about it. I like, thought about it, but I really think about the thing, the situation Kobe went through. That is serious, man. Like that is like a serious thing, man. Like he had everything, man. You know, I got a daughter. If I had like four daughters right now, and I don't know what the hell I would do. Just, just if I had more kids right now, like I was like, what? The, I was like, what the fuck? And knowing. And knowing and, and and not knowing, right? He 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 knew because if he if he if, if um if he was doing what he did, cause the brothers is out there in LA, man. They see he passed he, yo Kobe, you an Israelite. Yo, Blake Griffin, you an Israelite. All the all of the celebrities walking past in Hollywood. You an Israelite. Come on, they heard that, man. It makes sense. You think we just got it? And you think the celebrities got all that money and they, they don't know? They know. But what they're told, they said, no, you can't do that. But you even can't even help your own people when you get into the higher st stages. If you're going to help anybody, go to Africa and help over there. But you ain't helping no niggas over here. That's how they talk about us. You're not helping no niggas over here. Oprah ain't building no fucking, well, I don't know, if I know she went over to Africa and built some schools and shit, I don't know, geez, I, some, it's a lot of celebrities that did that shit. One fuck was talking about some back to Africa. He ain't from Africa, bro. Uh, listen, <laughs> hold on. Um, Jerusalem, Jerusalem, mother of us all. Something like that. Yeah, let me see if that pop up. Um, Salakia. All right. Yeah. Galatians chapter 4, verse 26. Galatians chapter 4, verse 26. But Jerusalem, which is above, is free, which is the mother of us all. Of us, J J J Jerusalem, that's us. So we, 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 um, Oh jeez! Uh, what well, I had a the, the word just fell out of my head. Um, let me see. I gotta find the verse again. All right. Cause we are we in a um oh jeez I'm just going through verses right now. And then 
gonna start on that. Cause our faith, all right, there you go. Our faith and our hope. Our faith and hope. And um, enduring too, man. Enduring this thing, man. This, oh man, this enduring is is dynamic too, man. Like, like oh, like I said, we um, we uh, how you say um, we got our family. No, friends, whoever is in this world, right? They're not doing what we do, right? But we know we still know people, you know? We might, it's, I, well, I not me. I, I, I don't even really say, I don't even go nowhere. <laughs> but at one time, you know, coming into the truth, you you still was trying to, you still was trying to um, give what you got. Like, oh, man, this guy does this. Imagine if he was doing this and he had, and he, and he left that. You think like that about these other individuals that you thought was smarter than you, you know? You think, you think, oh man, if they could do this, if they get into this truth, man, they be dynamic. But it wasn't given to them. It was given to you. What? But the scripture speaks about that. All right, it's good. look what Yahweh Shah said. He said, look what Yahweh Shah said. You can't go around this one. It says, right, he said, I'm going to end it with this one. Given to you mysteries. So I care. Alright, I think this is it. It says right here, it says, let's go up a bit. He said, oh, let's go up a little bit. Let's read this. We're going to read all this, right? We're going to get some of this meat off the bone. Alright, alright. So I <laughs> This is too much, right? It's, there's a lot of meat. We're going this, we're going to end it with this one. So like, he said, he said, um, what did he say? He said, he said Matthew chapter thirteen because it wasn't given to everybody. I mean, if it was, so I mean, we'd have been out there. We'd have been out there. We'd have been in the kingdom already if everybody was supposed to get it. But he, even Yahweh Shah said that. Yahweh said no. Cover their ears. Cover their mouth. Because I want to kill them. <laughs> That's what he said. He said I want to kill them, but I'm gonna give it to you. You can have it, but they ain't gonna get it. That's crazy. That's not crazy. That's righteous. But I mean, just saying that this is like. Like I said, if this a man, you know, that's how you should think. Like, man, this guy right here, man, he could build a whole computer. Imagine if he know how to um be be the prophet or read the scriptures. Because you try to read sometimes, you, you know, I used to do that sometimes. Like turn like this individual I was getting money with, not on the on the when I was doing music, I was always trying to tell him things. But he didn't want that. He wanted the worldly things. He wanted the cars, the honey, the hoes, and babies. Hey, that's what he wanted, but I was, I, I, I don't know, I still was on myself, I said, wow, I could see, I could see this, I could see the future, I could see the future, and that's what, that's what the word prophet me to say before, before it happened, we are, we are, um, like the apostle Tahar say, we are on weather, for, we are weather forecast of the future, we could tell you what's going to happen before it happened. All right, and it says, Matthew chapter 13, verse 8. Well, no, we're going to start. All right, we're going to start right here. We're going to start at verse 9. Who has ears to hear, let him hear. Who have, who have, understand, who have ears to understand? Who can understand this, this mystery? All right. And the disciples came and said unto him, why speaketh thou unto them in parables? This is our side. He said that first, right? He said, if they can hear, let them hear. If you got understand, if you got to understand what I just said, if you, when you read this whole chapter, you'll get it. And the disciples came and said unto him, Why thou speaketh unto them in a parable? And what is a parable? All right. Parable. All right. It says G thirty eight fifty. The Lord, he, wanted, he didn't want them to get it. It wasn't for them. And that's what people don't understand. It's not, I, I, at one time, when I used to try to, like I said, I tried that. I, I ran to them when I, when, I was, when I first came to drive, I ran to my mom. Mom, why you didn't tell you about this? I remember. I ran to my mother. I was like, oh, your mom, what the? You didn't tell me this was in the Bible? <laughs> because it, it, when you got that veil pulled off your head, I mean, for me, when that veil was pulled off my head, I said, what the? I said, I've been, I was wrong on my whole life. Wrong. <laughs> so I can He was wrong, bro. And then, you know, the Lord put me other things to, 
You know, there's people out here, the, 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 Kobe had it all, but he didn't hate and tame this, the true mysteries of Yahweh Shemiah shop. I am just went so far, but I am still ain't past 40, so it's okay. All right, we, um, this is the word, uh, Salaka, let me do this word again. This is, um, this is strong 3850, right? And it's parable. Parable. It's parable. That's what the word. That's what the strong parable, right? Parable. Right. Parable. Parable. Parabole. Parabole. That's Greek, right? For the word parable. Right? So let me see. Let's see what the word. A placing of one a placing of one thing by a side of another. Jekyll position. As the ship in battle, metaphorically comparing, compare, comparing compassion, compassion of one thing like another, subduing or explaining by which and doctrine or precept, a narrative. Um, you know what? Let's let the secretary read all this because I'm probably pronouncing some of this wrong. All right, so we can get the true understanding. I'm sure if you hear it, you get the understanding. So I want to hear. I need to hear it with you, because this mystery is being is being is being revealed to only to individuals. Like, like case of point, like when you when you um hear when you hear the speaking of the um of the brothers and the elders, and you be like, whoa. <laughs> and, and, and I know for a fact that it's clear to me because. The scripture also speaks about um visions, right? You know, um, the children will have visions, and your well, um, something like that. So let's hear a little bit of this, All right? Just to make it clear, so I can get the understanding too. Because as as you learn, I learn. Because uh, you know, I'm just we giving this, we feeding, we sharpening each other. A placing of one thing by the side of another juxtaposition. As of ships, in battle metaphorically a comparing, comparison of one thing with another likeness. Similitude an example by which a doctrine or precept is illustrated a narrative, fictitious but agreeable to the laws and usages of human life, by which either the duties of men or the things of God. Particularly, the nature and history of God's kingdom are figuratively portrayed a parable. An earthly story with a heavenly meaning of Pythian instructive saying, involving some likeness or comparison and having perceptive or admonitory force and aphorism. Mm. A maxima proverb an act by which one exposes himself or his possessions to danger, a venture, a risk. Mm. <laughs> Wait, I got a few words got me hooked right there. All right, the power because it was comparing. Like, all right, now we got the understanding. Comparing something to something, but not speaking about the thing that you're talking about. It's just it not the thing that you could you um talking about. It's not the thing that we're talking about, but it's comparing to something that we're talking about. All right, so it's not whatever he was talking about. It's not what he was talking about, but he was talking about the kingdom, the mysteries. Because it, everything is not for everybody. I, just like you ain't going to make friends with everybody. Like, let's go up with, you know, because uh, we were just. All right, this one was the. Like, when you read, when you when you get a chance, you want to read the whole chapter, you read the whole chapter. Because some of the parts he was talking about, some, and he said, he said, and he said, um, he said, Matthew chapter 13, verse 11. And some fell among thorns. He's talking about men. Right? He ain't talking about the fig trees, the, 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 the leaves on the, the um on the tree. He's talking about men. Some didn't get it, some got it, and then they fell out. Some we we if we understand the mystery. Alright, but when you try to explain to other people what he was what he was doing, he didn't want everybody to get it. But then he explained it to his disciples. Okay, which our disciple, which 
the, the, how Shah's disciples, which is our apostles, they explain to us. This means he's talking about men. All right, and who? And then we're going right now. Matthew chapter thirteen, verse nine. Who has an ear? Let him hear. Who has understand? Who have ears to understand? Who have a mind to understand? Let him understand. And the disciples came and said unto him, Why speakest thou in parables? And he answered unto them, Because it is given unto you to know the mysteries. It's given unto. It was given. It's only given to a few individuals. And the Wali Yabba Shimel Shah for for um for raising up his men to give it to the rest of the flock. Because the flock that's what's being this is what we want. We want this is this this is faith builders. This is a faith builder. We want we wanna we wanna get the hell out of here. We hope and pray that all these things happen fast. So we get the hell out of here. Yeah, we got we got people in our life, you know, we love, but come on, you think about it, man, they don't have a chance. They don't have a chance in the damn world, man. If I shot if the so called white man don't get out of power, the earth will if the if the Lord didn't say the earth will bodies forever, the earth would explode. <laughs> the earth is sick too, man. We got we need the how shot gotta come back and heal the earth too. Show show you how to really run the planet. And he answered unto them and said, Because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. But unto them is not given. So Yahweh Shah said that. It's not given to everybody. So, you know, at that, for anyone, for all of us, we had to come in like that, you know, because we had people in our life that we. we you know what I'm saying? You try to explain it to them, but in their brain, it's like, do 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 <laughs> It's not your fault, because it's not given to them. The mysteries of Yahweh Shema is not given to them. This faith is not given to them. This hope, this, um, this, uh, this mystery is not given to them. It's a lot if I was all over the place, but, um, I think I narrowed it down. All prayers and honor and glory to go to Yahweh Shemel Shah, Bashim Rakhan Kodash, the Wadi Yahweh Shemel Shah, for giving us the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Shalom to the Aki. Shalom.